Hi, I'm Steve Heinrich. I'm one of the four stage managers here at the uh, Wharton Center. I'm a member of IETSE Local 274, the Stage Hands Union. I've been working since 1977 on campus and other venues. Uh, I was an on-call stagehand and a head carpenter here until 2011 when I uh, took a full-time job as a stage manager. And I've been on and off working in the theater and rock and roll and all that jazz for most of my adult life. So here in the Passat Theater, um, we have a uh, kind of a unique feature. It's called the Vomitorium or the VOM as we refer to it as. And it's simply a tunnel that starts here on stage left. It goes all the way under the seating and you can emerge stage right from the same set of steps. Uh, down here, down this set of steps, is a trap room. So this is the trap room for the facade. The trap room is simply a room underneath the stage, but this is a actual elevator. And when the Department of Theater uses this space, directly above here, right at the end of the stage, are four removable panels. So for for instance, when they did the Scottish play in here, uh, this is an elevator. They would take those uh, panels out and there would be a gaping hole in the stage. And whenever the uh, witches needed to make a dramatic appearance, they would have the stage manager call the cues and someone who was, we call this automation equipment, and they would raise this elevator up and the witches would make a dramatic appearance on stage. And then that's always enhanced by they put a couple of uh, wide flood power lamps down here to project color if you want to project something scary like blood red or flame or something like that. You can do those kinds of effects. And there's always the always popular uh, pumping out a bunch of atmosphere, smoke, haze, fog to make it look really cool. But this is almost in fact, not almost, it's, this is exclusively used by the theater department. And in fact, they built and installed this whole thing. And when they use it, they have, there's a whole bunch of other uh, auxiliary equipment that they have to bring with them. Uh, racks of control uh, drives and computers and all that sort of stuff. So this is kind of a place that nobody ever comes uh, in the Morton Center. Because it's a the, the facade is a theater, somewhat in the round on three sides anyway. Uh, sometimes it uh, is necessary for an actor, especially in a show that's staged for a more straightforward proscenium show. In other words, like the uh, uh, Great Hall side, um, they need to make entrances. Well, they can make entrances from down here, and uh, most of the shows that come in don't take advantage of that, but again, the theater department always takes advantage of it. And this is a bomb opening. And what this is, is it's a, it's kind of a throat. So it's where things emanate from up here onto the uh, stage. And it, in our particular theater here in the Paysan, it's where we position our sound man. And the sound man being down here, has a good bird's eye view of the stage and he can adjust, make all the sound adjustments he can. Plus he's here if he needs to run up and adjust a microphone or something like that. We refer to this area, this black painted concrete area as the gutter. And then here's the stage. And then this is the track. This is where we were. This is these trap covers are permanently, in, not, or not permanently installed, but they're heavy duty, they're reinforced. People, we see a lot of people come out here and step gingerly because they think that if they step on this, you know, if they had an extra 
candy bar for lunch. They might go all the way through. So this is, uh, this is my favorite theater. Of the two theaters, this is my favorite theater. Uh, my, fa my favorite theater because, uh, to me, designing props, scenery, sound, lights for this space, it's all very clever and very innovative. And one of the things that we do here at the Wharton Center are the uh, uh, our Center for Arts and Creativity presenting shows for uh, young folks, the bus fulls of school kids that come in, all those sorts of things. And I've, you know, I've been uh, fascinated by, by since the time I started doing this with these little shows that come in, theater works and uh, all the other small or big companies that put these small shows on the road. And the shows are 55 minutes long. Um, there's 600 kids out here. Uh, they come in one uh, starter van. We unload them in 25 minutes. We set all their stuff up, all these clever props. They do a complete show. They satisfy this great audience of uh, attentive six-year-olds. Everybody squeals, claps, and then you get up and leave, and then we do another show at one o'clock. So those have always been my favorite shows.